welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gif, but you can also call me Gifty Love. On today's video, I am going to be playing around with the Pure slash Raw Beauty Christy palette. It's still in its bubble wrap because I literally haven't touched it because I said Gift save it for a video so i'm really excited to share this with you i'm a big fan of her actually she is a oh, chair's just not doing the thing i want it to oh this doesn't feel stable at all i should lean back <laughs> anyway um i'm a real fan of real beauty christy so i hope she sees this and feels like happy that's the one across the pond <laughs> uh using her palette but like no nah, she seems like a real one she's really genuine she's one of the first like white tubers actually white tubers <laughs> she's one of the uh, like first white youtubers i um, I started to watch because basically when I first was like watching YouTube I was like well I need to see people that look like me because they're going to be giving me information that I know but also just just the kind of YouTube I like to watch or just you know black people doing whatever they're doing so she was one of the first white people I started to watch and I really enjoyed her she introduced me some, introduced me some other great people so really happy about that and I just this palette seems really sick and I didn't get it in the first shop like many other people and it was a bit awkward but when they did like this final restock because they had some spares left the checkout process of that was great it took a, it took a while to get here but uh like it's here and I'm happy and it wasn't broken or anything so I'm really happy with it if you watch my last video you know I said you know when you come back I actually have a, a hairstyle rather than just my bonnet because I can't be able to style my hair underneath so I actually have a hairstyle which is really exciting so I really want to film a lot this month so I can get the most out of this hairstyle and then we'll be back to the bonnet again so I can get something else because we're in lockdown number two I've, I've done my eyebrows so i'm really happy with how my eyebrows are like, looking these these days so i just use either super brow or um, boy brow by glossier and then i'm using the new fenty uh eyebrow pencil because i haven't used a pencil in a long time it's been using goof proof and i'm just looking and i'm really i'm really liking it i'm really liking it a lot oh look at how cute in the back this is the palette it's a two-sided palette which i think is really innovative this is it and i watched like all of her videos related to her palette she she like she drew all of these things which is really awesome i think what's really nice about her is that she feels like she's creative in so many different ways and she's not shy about like showing the other creativity which is really really nice she feels like she's like a kind of she's talented in multiple ways which is really really cool let me move this camera back a bit hold on hold on hold on a second uh -huh. and that's making sense because i couldn't even i didn't know what was happening anyway so there's two sides, so there's the neutral side and the colourful side. And I feel like we're all like that, we all have our colourful side and our neutral side, so. It's one of those situations where like, this is the first year I've had money, but also that I've watched people that like, that have collabs. I don't know, it's the first time I've been like buying, this year and last year, I've been like the year of collabs, like um, buying influencer collabs. So I have the Jackie Aina, Nikki Tutorials, and I have Robbie Christie. I think that's all the collabs I have, so. Yeah, no, I, I like it. Some of the, most, all, all my collabs I've bought, I've really loved, so. Yeah, mostly because I don't, I don't really watch people that are that problematic, so it means their launches are fine. But yeah, I enjoy all the collabs I've tried. So this is how the palette looks. So hopefully you can see. So apparently the this reflect means it's the neutral side. Yes, so kind of brown reflect. If you can see it, means the uh, uh, neutral side. And then this kind of bluish rainbowy reflect means you're on the colourful side. I feel like I'll get used to that because I'll just move it a bit and then I'll see it. So, like usual, when I, ca I keep I keep trying palettes that have like like two colour stories within them. I think that's like a big trend. Uh, but with this one, like with all my other ones, when I do when I have a when I try a palette that has two colour stories in it, I always try one on each eye. That's like how that, I don't know. It always kind of turns out nice because it shows how the palette can be cohesive together. But also, I just I like to try both sides on camera rather than to do doing two separate videos it's saying red battery don't worry babes you're gonna have to manage and relax because i'm doing this video let me just get started i've already primed my eyes like i've actually come today ready and prepared to actually do this review without breaking all of my stuff all right so the neutral side literally untouched gorgeous that's how it looks Ooh. um yeah it's really nice as well because she knows that's the stuff that she says and i'm used to her saying these things because i watch her videos it's really nice this mirror slap severely again you know how i do with makeup i'm just gonna give it a go just like if you got this palette it's gonna give it a go do you know what i mean so i'm gonna go with my whole heart because that looks like it would be like a crease shade i'm just gonna just see what calls to me in each one so my whole heart okay it's really powdery kind of like anti Beverly hills there's a lot of fallout that doesn't really bother me to blow it away but something to consider because it makes the palette look messy i guess and if you don't like that then that's your own prerogative you might say gift why are you going in with my whole heart what are you trying to do i don't know but what i am discovering is that this would be really nice for i never used pure eyeshadow by the way um uh, they're, they're they're like formula but this is, this seems really nice already uh what i've noticed is that um about this just now that my whole heart could be really good if you're doing like a matte lid color and you need like a creamy not a creamy like um kind of not skin tone it's not my skin tone but like a creamy matte cr like matte cream shade i feel like my whole heart would be good for that 
I don't know why I've done that into the crease, but I have to make it, but I've done it now, so. Um, maybe just putting it, kind of brushing it all over the lid. Okay, so it's between copper boxes and told you, so I'm gonna go with copper boxes, because it's kind of like, a, not a poo, uh, well, it's kind of looks like poo, but that's the basic, like, what other brands like this? No, it kind of looks like poo, but like in a good way. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, you guys have to be zoomed in, so, I think. Anyway, I'm zooming you in so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Nothing worse than being far away. So I've put Moo, no, my whole, I just keep saying Moo point, I'm like, I wanna use it. I think I might. Uh, I've put my whole heart just all over. So now I'm gonna take copper boxes. Uh, I'm gonna actually call it the real name because it means something to her rather than just saying it looks like poo. This is the color that she says is really important to her because it's linked to like her dad and he makes, copper boxes for her and that's really nice I'm not gonna sully that with my <laughs> me saying it looks like poo that's not nice okay so I'm using this really fluffy brush to go in the crease with this color I think what's happening is that this is really close to my skin color so it's not really um showing up not like it's not pigmented enough but it's literally just blending into my skin color because it's um this really kind of warm neutral brown so I might have to go in with told you and hope that makes a difference. Yeah. So I mean, you can't, it doesn't look like I've done anything. Not even on camera, which the camera usually picks up. All right, let's try told you. Yeah, there we go. Getting something. There we go. Maybe it's because I'm using like a really fluffy brush. Maybe I need to like pack it and then kind of blend it out. But I just, I don't know, I just like to, I, I want this to be, even though both it's going to be colourful in one of the eyes, I want it to be a bit, I don't know, not my usual V-shape. I actually want to just like keep it um quite decent and simple today. Decent and simple. Ha! You know what I mean? Just like really easy for myself. Because it's quite a small, col small colour palette and just palette in general. Like, even though you can do lots with it, like there's only so much you can do within that, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of counts as what I'm saying. But you get what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like you can do lots also not too much so it doesn't feel overwhelming like this is this part doesn't feel overwhelming at all i like it because it's, it's a lot of mattes and one shimmer in, on each side which is really nice so you can kind of you know like i don't know and the shimmer looks really nice it looks like it will go with any color that you use in this i don't know why i didn't use this like muted pink mu, mu point but you know i will use it eventually it's not in this one um yes yeah, so you can see told you a bit more it's a bit of a deeper brown kind of orangey color um, it's kind of, it's definitely showing up on me a little bit more. There we go. So I've, right now I've used my whole heart and couple boxes. Whole heart was quite light, so that would be good to like put on the lid if you're doing an all matte shade. Copper boxes literally is my skin colour. Uh, the more I look at it, I'm like, there's a foundation that's just come <laughs> So I didn't come up, but um, what's it called? Told you. It's coming up just fine and dandy. Oh, you're supposed to hold it at the end so you can really do the circular motions. I keep forgetting, I just want to like grip it up at the, at the like, um, the tip. I don't know why, it's not really good, it doesn't help me. Okay, that's really nice, that's really nice on camera, really nice and simple. It feels like this bit, I can't seem to blend up, but it may just be the way I'm looking at it, because in my mirror it looks fine. Yeah, cool. And then, whee! And now I'm going to take, it's between B and You're Not My Real Dad, just because of how couple boxes showed up, I'm gonna take You're Not My Real Dad and just do it like here, actually. Should we take a smaller brush? Um, I'm gonna take a smaller brush, the BH Cosmetics 6, and take You're Not My Real Dad into this area. So it's like a really simple, you throw it, yeah, I can see what she meant now when she said, oh, I want to create this new style to be like, you can just pick a few colours and throw it on and go about your day. This is really like simple. People that just, like for every day, people that want shadows like that, this is going to be perfect. Yeah. This is really nice. So I was just making that a bit deep. It's really nice, really simple. Wow, that's really nice. So I'm just kind of, you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just, I need to get some new brushes, this hurts. <laughs> I'm just placing it kind of like in the V of my eye and just taking it into this fold crease, whatever you want to call it, and just taking it through to deepen that bit up. That I've just, um, and it blends really nicely into told you as well. This is just really nice and really easy. Like, you know, I can't, like, it's just like, you know, it's just like, it just works. And I don't need to do any hoo-ha, I don't need to say anything, I don't need to be doing the most because it just works. I really like that it just works. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, on camera it looks even better. See, this is like, I think, yeah, I'm definitely, I can, she definitely smashed it when it came to like making something that's really easy. Working on my skin tone, just fine, it's showing up on me, no problem. It's not like one of those ones like super duper duper pigmented, I wouldn't say that, but I don't think you need that for every day. I think it's always nice to say that, oh my God, it's super pigmented, but sometimes like, or, or most of the time really, you don't like, are you really looking for something like that? 
The only reason like I like super super pigmented palettes is because that's usually the only palettes that show up on my skin but makeup is changing now and even when things are super pigmented the colours are inclusive which is what matters it means that I can use uh, any pa a lot of more palettes even if it's not like super pigmented the colours I've been thought of so it shows up on my skin tone you know so I'm going to do my base so anything that's like fluttering out here won't really matter uh, that's really nice I really like that and then should I use any more colours just does just does is this really nice kind of um coral pink but I don't guess you're doing the most trying to use this colour should I just do like a simple eye and call it a day on this side I don't know um I just want to get a bit of a splash of something but I don't know if it will go this eye is supposed to be like a neutral nice happening thing I'm just trying to think the yellow maybe I'm not gonna make any decisions I should just call it a day because it looks really nice so I shouldn't ruin it so for me it's between I'm, okay because it's only one shimmer I'm gonna use golden ticket on the lid to just finish it off so I'm gonna grab golden ticket with my finger really soft really nice and then just oh that's lovely oh that's proper nice and I'm just going to get a brush. I'm not going to wet the brush. Let me see what it can work with without wetting it. It works just fine. That is lovely. That's doing a bang up job it is. Wow. It's like a nice simple eye. Wow. And then I should probably blend it a bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> going to take a little bit of You're Not My Real Dad and just make it look a bit more seamless as it blends into the other side. <laughs> And I'm just going to take a bit of my whole heart as the inner corner. Ugh, like a matte inner corner, I think. I took a smaller brush. I keep trying to do things with not the right tools and then I'm wondering why it doesn't work. Now, this isn't like the streamer that will blow you away, but again, like how much in your day-to-day -day life are you looking to, you know, have a shimmer that blows you your mind away when you're like trying to just go to work and, you know, earn your money so you can just survive and have a roof over your head you know what I mean it's like you're just looking for something that works and it's a really really lovely gold I wouldn't say it's like a duochrome or reflect it's just nice it's really simple this is an everyday palette this is actually an everyday palette and if you're feeling a bit adventurous that there are colors out in there that you can try but it's just it is really an everyday palette and I think that's really nice she's done such a good job with that gorgeous look at that done 10 minutes 10 minutes and if I didn't use the mat I just left it as it was that was me done lashes and mascara you're done brilliant now for the other side i'm gonna have to repeat brushes because i don't have that many <laughs> okay but they should be fine all right that's brilliant now to use the colorful side wow this is a party this is a fucking party look at that wow and i'm gonna do that on this eye i don't know why i keep doing that because this is the harder eye to do because i'm still blending it here and this is why i'm using the color right i haven't used done a red eye ever I don't think <laughs> I keep buying reds because I'm like I need some more reds in my life and I haven't done a red eye in a long time so let's see I don't have a plain one like this in my in my collection at all so that's really exciting I don't think I'm gonna use that today because I'm not crazy so I'm just gonna be crazy and go in with Flavor Town with this big fluffy brush which is probably a bad thing because I'm using a lot of color but I'm going with a big fluffy brush guess what I like to be adventurous okay if this shows up oh it's showing up yes sir if you have a big fluffy brush, it'll be like a faded red. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. I haven't just tried red in a long time. So I'm really excited. I'm kind of placing it and then I'm going to blend it out. If you ask me what look am I going for, I don't know. But it's going to look cute regardless. Well, I'm excited for Cafe Disco, but I don't know if I'm going to use it on this look. Do you know what? For a red, this is showing up really nice. And it doesn't look like a red where it's like this is a nasty red like this just doesn't look nice this is actually like a really nice red it's not patchy and i know hard, reds are hard to blend so i don't know i kind of had fairly not low expectations but just like reasonable ones of like reds are hard to get right therefore i mean she put a lot of colors that are hard to get right there's a blue here there's a purple there's a red she went she's like i know they're all hard i know i know which colors are hard to to get right i'm gonna put all of them in my palette wow look at that <laughs> that's really nice That's really nice because I'm not trying to do big impacts because else I'll place it with like a denser brush but now I'm just trying to kind of just nicely um, blend this red out. 
I feel bad that I'm like doing this um, tutorial for a palette that you guys can't get hold of. I'm sorry about that, but it's a really nice palette and um, I want to support the thing, innit? And also, you know, in the future, if she does she something else, she might, yeah, think of me. <laughs> yeah, someone that's supported and could make some cute content for her. I'd love to do content for Beauty Christie. Like, wow, it's literally day and night, isn't it? Wow. Anyway, that's cute. And then I'm going to take on a smaller brush. I'm really not thinking, I'm literally thinking this through on camera. I love that for me. Dandelion? What goes with, oh, what goes, with, let me look at the colour wheel. I'll pick whatever goes with the opposite. That's usually a good way to do it. To do it. Green. Okay, I'm going to take Garden State then. And you put that all over the lid. Yeah, I don't see how that could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're going to take Garden State with this random BH brush. Whoa, that's pigmented. Uh, 104. I use mostly BH brushes because they're all I can afford at the minute. Oh, it goes everywhere though. But that is fucking pigmented, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is amazing. Wow, literally day and night. I fucking love that. Wow. 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 Look at look at the it's gonna be such a funny video. Day and night, isn't it, babes? In real life, does it look okay? On camera, this red looks so dynamic, but in person, I'm like, is it showing up like that? But no, actually, it, it slaps. Let me, let me stop talking. Damn. That's really cool. If, uh, there's like, if there was a brand that had this colour scheme, they would hire me immediately. Wow. Really nice. This is lovely. I really like this. And because I'm a crazy whore, I'm joking. Because I'm crazy, I'm gonna like with the other one. Because only two shimmers in this, I'm gonna take Disco Cafe Disco, just in this part of my eye here. So I'm just gonna. This is brushes. Brushes. I'm doing using this brush for everything, right? I'm just gonna. Oh yes, girl. Oh, this is very uh. Shimmery. What color? Oh, what reflex are coming through? It looks kind of greeny, but I'm like, is it because of what's on my brush already? So does it look kind of like bluey, silver, greeny? Is it go lots of different colours in your opinion? It looks more blue than anything. Mm. Obviously you can mix colours from both of the both sides, but I wanted to see if I knew pick used each side like what I could come up with. So Wow. Yeah, it's like a blue. It's really nice. It it's definitely like glitter, so like I can feel it in my eye. <laughs> not in like a bad way, they're not like fucking huge chunks, but I can feel it in my eye. So if you don't like that you might not like the glitter. But this is really nice. It's like a wet looking. Oh that's nice. Ooh, I, I like that actually. It's not the same shimmer as the other side of it. This is definitely more party, go go party. See what I mean? Wow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna put a liner on each side as well. Oh no, a bit of the powder just got on the mirror. I love the mirror on this palette, that slaps too. So these are the two really simple, easy eyes that I've just done. So I'm gonna go off, hold on. Meow. I'm gonna go, no, further out. I'm gonna go off camera, do my base, liner, just kind of finish off the face and then come back and tell you my final thoughts basically so i will see you for me it's gonna be like another half an hour but i will see you in like two seconds hi i'm back so this is the finished face um i finally finally fucking me use this sample of the dior face and body foundation it's really watery and so i was like putting loads on and then when i was blending i was like this might be too much but no it's worked out quite well um yeah i haven't done too much on the face but i love this lip combo it's that nude lip, lip i'm really blah, 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 this nude lip combo and i'm really enjoying this like high shine gloss that i've like discovered because i wanted to get the gloss super from fenty i'm gonna keep talking about it to someone buys it for me but then i had to get this clear one from called glaze from revolution i love it i just wish it wasn't plumping anyway this is the finished look using the robbie christie palette so i'm gonna zoom you in this is the neutral side can you see are you seeing it you dare see it and this is the colorful side rebalance the lash colorful glittery let me zoom you out so my overall thoughts I stopped kicking my vanity. I really like this eyeshadow palette. It's, I thought, to be honest, because it was two-sided, I thought it would replace my Nikki Tutorials one in, in terms of like, I don't know, I just thought it would replace it, but no, it definitely doesn't. I think I prefer the formula of the, of the 
uh, Nikki Tutorials one, the X Beauty Bay. But this one serves a different purpose. So, for example, of my, all my collab palettes that I have, the Jackie Anna palette, I love purple. Purple looks really nice for me, and so does pink. So that fulfills that, and it has some deep browns for I want to throw together a neutral look or a foxy eye look. That's beautiful. Um, I wouldn't do a smoky eye with it because it doesn't really have smoky colours. It's not cool toned in any way. So that's what that's for. A warm toned look or a colourful purple or pink look. Perfect. My next tutorials uh, X Beauty Bay palette is like really bright colours, but it's like but across the spectrum so it's got bright pinks to really deep purples and together that I could create some really interesting looks with them colorful and more neutral but the shimmers in that are so soft and so pretty I really really love that um I don't think this was about the shimmers this palette in particular I wouldn't say these are my favorite shimmers that I've ever used but not because I don't perform or anything like that I just think I, d I do like if I'm going to use a shimmer I want people to be known from far away that I have shimmer on my eyes and I don't think these really do that for me personally i think these these feel like traditional glittery shimmers and i'm used to like trying lots of a lot of the new palettes that i've been trying and using have the kind of new softer kind of a velvety kind of creamy glitters that i really enjoy i actually because of that now when i use like actual traditional glittery glitters i don't like them as much but it still looks nice on the eyes as you can see and it's really pretty um it's but this palette only had one glitter so it was about the mattes i think the mattes performed really well for red which is really hard to formulate and a green greenish blue that's really hard to formulate i think it boom went on the eyes no problem it was really easy to use the color story makes it really easy to create looks i'm just indecisive if you're not if you're not indecisive this palette will be perfect and really really easy for you to use so would i recommend yes i think this is really good if you want to stock up on your mattes um unfortunately i think there's some colors like copper boxes and i think maybe b that i can't really use because they're similar to my skin tone so what i might have to do is those might be my transition shades or what i used to like matte the eyelid if i want to let them build up to like make it deeper but it's just a shame that i can't like that they're just they're much more skeleton but it's bound to happen i guess overall i would buy this palette if it was still available if it ever came back but i doubt it will um if i had to pick a side i think i prefer the colorful side just because it has some really cool colors that you don't see often because they're hard to formulate in one like all of them all in one palette really nice and they're really easy to use and i just they performed well a lot of fallout that bothers you but overall i'm really happy with how it turned out um i would use it again and i feel like it, ha it kind of stands in its own right and it does what it needs to do and it's very kind of um it's versatile for anyone that wants to use it so whether that's you just like you know, someone that just needs to slap it on because they like want to go out with and but don't want their eyes or stuff to look dull or whatever or, or like just blank uh it has that option but then also if you're like i want to try something and like put like a little blue in the inner corner to like but amp it up it has everything that you need in that in that respect so i'm not trying to compare it but i just think because i have free collabs I always get worried that you know I don't want to, and also just I have eyeshadow palettes so I don't want them to like overlap but this very much stands in its own lane and I really like how compact and easy to, it is to use and overall I just think it's a really solid palette and I'm so glad I could get my hands on it because it was something that for a long time I was like I really want to try it. Um, I didn't get to try any of the yellows in this palette but I do want to try it because I'm, I'm really into that, using yellows. I think when I saw her using the yellows in the tutorial they looked really really good so I'm excited to try those but overall I would get it if it was still available. The neutral side is very easy to replicate with any warm tone palette you have, but the colourful side, just finding a formula that you like and seeing what colours they have in it, because red, purple, greens, all that kind of stuff, are kind of hard to formulate. So that's the only bit I would, I couldn't, I, I don't feel like I can definitely say that. You could definitely find that anywhere, like together in one palette. I feel like you have to get multiple palettes to get that colour story together. I think it's quite a unique colour story to just get so you'd have to kind of use bits and picture bits of your collection to get that but the neutral side is definitely replicatable if you can't get hold of this palette i just really like how it performs and i think i'd use it again thank you so much for watching remember to like subscribe and comment down below and share with a friend thank you so much and if you got to the end of this video you are one of my personal loving maggie cubes you spread seasoning wherever you go and i love you loads for it have a great day evening afternoon uh whatever it is that you're doing and just have a great one <laughs> oh this highlight from kaleidoscope is giving me life anyway have a great great day and i'll see you soon bye